five years of delay, Chief Keith finally dropped an almighty so, or he could've just dropped another live, but whatever, I'm finally back after two months of not uploading, so I decided why not to try something new, I never really make glow beats, so let's just get right into it. Obviously for a glow beat, you probably need a brass, so I'm gonna go into expand, and then I'm gonna go into the brass section, and get this little trombone brass thing. And then I'm gonna go into like the third octave, and just keep the chord progression like really, really simple. You don't really want to do too much because glow beats already have like a lot of energy and a lot of things going on, so if you're like going up and down like a little Uzi beat or like a rage beat or something, it just, it'll just be too much. So yeah, real simple. You really want it to sound like, you know, like really anthemic and like motivational. So that's why I like ascend it instead of like going down. And then for the mic deed, all I'm gonna do is just add an EQ. One thing I like doing for these glow beats is right click onto the type and then just do a uh, high pass. And that just like curves it so it doesn't take away like a lot of the lows because you still want it to be deep. But you don't want it to sound like really cheap and weak either. Now we need like a little, you know, higher frequency, something that's gonna make it like sound bright and energetic. So I'm gonna just choose some random and just figure out a melody and then we can choose sound selection from there. So usually when I'm doing these, I just start out with what the bass note was. So in this case, our bass note is D3. So I'm just create like an arp that like pretty much repeats for these four bars. Now that we got that, I'm just repeating it again, but since these two notes change, I'm gonna have to change the ARP too, so I'm gonna just take this, just go up to G, and then since this is out of key, so I'm gonna just have to change it to like this note, I guess. So that's the pattern, real simple, you know what I'm saying? Once again, you really don't want to keep this anything too crazy, but we are going to add a bit of mic deening to this. Yeah, obviously I'm going to take out the lows, and we're also going to add the go to VST portal. You got to get your hands in some of these portal banks, and it really just mess with the sound. I'm just choose some random and just see how it goes. Shut up, bro. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to just add a little bit of reverb to it as well. Now that we got that, I'm gonna clone this. What the hell just happened? Alright, so I don't know what happened there, but I'm gonna just clone this. So I'm just gonna go to strings right here. Yeah, I created a really simple, like, lucky little pattern, but obviously it's, like, really, really in your face, so in the mic Dean, I'm gonna take out the lows, obviously, and then I'm also gonna add a grow speed, and I'm gonna just add, like, a little gate or something. Oh, that's so nasty! So I'm gonna just clone expand again. And this time I'm gonna just look for like a big pad that just like sort of moves that can like always be playing because it just needs a little more high end, you know? It feels a little empty right now. So nasty. 
that's like a good like set of a melody you know you can really rap over but obviously we are still missing more brass hits because it obviously just can't be super super simple you need to have you know like a big like draw sort of happens you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna just add like a little trumpet or something that's like really bright because right now it's just like a deep hit so after you find your bright brass synth you really want to keep the melody super simple so the thing i like to do is just have a really short stuttery note at the start and then just like immediately repeat with a long note and that just really gives it like that energy Now I think we're finally done with the melody, so we can go on and get to the drums. This kid Logan sent me his drum kit called Spellbound Drum Kit. It was actually really good. I used that for this video. Got a whole bunch of drum midis, which I'll probably use and like Superfire 808s. So go check it out if you guys want to call it for yourselves. But yeah, let's just choose a hi hat so we can get a groove going, and then we can make the 808s afterwards. Obviously for a soft clipper, I just boosted the thresh a little bit. Post, I think I just moved up a little bit as well. I'm actually thinking about pitching down the melody a little bit because I don't really like how high this 808 goes. So I might pitch it down like a little bit by highlighting all of it. Going here, going to transpose and then pressing minus two. <laughs> As you can see, this kit really got, you know, it got all the sauce. Snare rolls are crazy in this, so uh, definitely go check that out. Keeping that real simple, I'm gonna split the channel, just do a little arrangement. You can see from my mic D, and I just have a soft clipper and I boosted the mids a little bit and also the highs. Let me know if you guys have any tips in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, see you next time.